In this video, I'm going to share with you how to implement the inline date picker. And the way our application will work is this. We will have a table view, and then we will have a couple of cells that will reveal a date picker when a user taps on them. And then user will be able to select date and time and tap on the cell again to hide the date uh, picker. And uh, another cell will work the same way. And we will have a done button which once a uh, user taps on it will uh, print uh, the, the selected date from one of the cells and then I'll also share, share with you how to take that selected date and convert it into a data object or a different format um, that you need and um, other cells will not have uh, the date picker and I will also share with you how to customize this um, table view so that uh, you know how to uh, make uh, other cells like for example uh, uh, this or this one other item two for example have date picker how how to apply inline date picker to other cells uh, okay and uh, the original implementation of this inline uh, date picker comes from Apple uh, they have this date cell project uh, and if you click on you can google for it but uh, if I click here uh, this uh, library iOS sample code something date cell introduction so google for it you will find it on Apple uh, iOS developers library and uh, it's an objective C project uh, and there is a uh, implementation file that you can look through I looked uh, I'm a big fan of open source project and I looked around um, for other available implementations and I found a few and one of them that I liked uh, is um, this one from Okahei uh, ya Hayakawa I hope I did pronounce uh, his or her name correctly if you download it and run it it will work very well uh, and it's basically uh, exactly the same implementation as this one um, function names are called the same comments are, are the same and even the UI is the same except this one has other item and uh, the open source has uh, two cells but uh, other everything else from the implementation is exactly the same so if you follow if you use this uh, project uh, you should be okay and what I will do I will I build I will share with you how to build user interface but I will not use the table view controller um, that um, this project is using so I, I actually have it open somewhere um, on my screen I will drag it here so this is the open source project that I've downloaded and it's using table view controller so what I will do I'll create a new project and I'll use uh, view controller and I'll add custom table view there and then I'll show you how how to customize it and then I will um, build it piece by piece and then we will transfer um, this source code piece by piece and I'll uh, share with you how what are these uh, details are and how to customize them okay so uh, let's take this project away uh, and by the way if you run it it will also not have the done button it's a little different but I think the done button is uh, very simple uh, very uh, convenient because once you're done selecting you would like to know how to uh, actually pick the selected uh, date from the cell so that you can use it later on so in my implementation I'll have the done button but all the credits for this Swift project for taking the objective C uh, uh, and converting it to Swift keeping all the variables all the objects and the comments and function names the same all the credits go to this person I don't know him or her personally so um, thanks uh, big to him okay so uh, let I have an open empty project so this one is absolutely empty I have a single view controller and I will open it I can open it in assistant editor there's nothing else so I'll start building user interface and then I'll go to source code and then I'll show you how to customize it okay so the first thing that we'll do I will embed this view controller into navigation controller and I'll resize it to iPhone 4 inch 
so that I have more space on my screen. I can uh, go ahead and uh, draw, um, look for buttons in my objects library here. So the, the one that I'm looking for is uh, bar button item. Uh, this is for my done button. I'll put it here and then I'll select it and I'll change the bar item to um, done. And I will also change the style to done. Okay, I have the, bun, uh, the done button. And the next thing I will look for table view. Here we go, we have a table view and I will position it like all the way here and then resize it like this age to age and uh, then I'll select the table view and under identity inspector we have dynamic prototypes so I will uh, add three more cells we'll have three um, what I also do uh, I will select no, uh, later on so I have three cells um, I can select each cell and the first one will be um, will be uh, the one with the right detail. So that one will be uh, with the uh, date and, uh, and time. And the next one will be custom cell. This one will uh, hold the, the, t uh, the date picker. So I make it larger. The third one uh, will be um, a basic let's uh, select the basic so go back to the middle cell which is large drag and drop the date picker okay so now it's here positioned like this so the date picker is uh, 216 and I'll choose the table view cell so it's now larger and I will set it back to 216 okay now it it fits well right yeah, so now all of it um, fit. So once I'm done here, I'll uh, select the view controller and I will click on this button here to resolve uh, auto layout issues. And for all view controller views, I will reset it to suggested constraints. Okay, so that uh, that should be it with the design. Um, no, uh, let's set the cells. Okay, we have three cells and each cell should have its um, ID so identifier I will select on the left side with the tab for each cell like I select the first cell first and then I will switch to identity inspector and for identifier of that cell I will type date cell so that's going to be for the date and I will select the second cell the second cell which is holding the uh, date picker and for identifier of this um, cell, I will type date picker cell, picker with the R. Okay, and then with for the third cell, I will uh, give it identifier like other cell. Okay, so we have uh, identifiers, we have a date picker here and everything should be good. We will also need to set the tag value for the date picker. So I will select the date picker and on the right side here under identity inspector, I will scroll down a little bit to the view section and under view section, I have tag here. So in the Apple um, implementation, the source code provided, this value is 99 and then this tag value is used uh, to reference the date picker view with the ID uh, with the tag value 99.